Hey guys, how's it going everybody? Dragon Keep here and welcome to part three. Yeah, part three of What if Deku was a human dinosaur hybrid? Well, human dino eh, anyway. Let's let us continue. So We last left off with with the doctor and Shota, I believe that's what I called. Yeah, that's I'm pretty sure that's what I called her. Anyway, they arrive back to the base. They, the doctor says that it is set in motion. All for one then appeared and said, perfect. Pretty soon, everything will go back to the way it was. And this horrid society will only be a myth. And every, everyone nodded their heads in agreement. Well, everyone in there. Of course, that's what I, Anyways! Sorry. I got distracted by Izuku's shoes that he's always had. Why does he even have those? Anyways. So. Chota gets accepted into UA. And goes to her class, class 1A. And if you're wondering, doing Shinzo is part of that class. Sure enough, we go over to the USJ attack. Oh, sorry. There you go. Anyway, the USJ attack. Everyone arrives at the USJ. Okay, and then sure enough, League of Vill the League of Villains show up. Well, well, and by League of Villains, I mean Shigaraki, Kurgiri, we a bunch of D class villains. Ones, like a bunch of them. And Um, it's 
so I lost my train of thought. Anyway. And of course, Izuku. Now, along with looking like a humanoid humanoid dinosaur sorry, with green floofy hair, Izuku put on put on a biker helmet to hide his floofy hair because he was saving think get to reveal it at just the perfect moment. And if you're one during during all my gifts Bach could go one for all. Anyways Kurigiri separates up all the classes, well, all the students, not all the classes, what am I thinking? Anyway, well, what am I saying? Anyway! Way. Bakugo... Go and Kirishima exit out of their building. And just in time, time as as the building was about to collapse oh wait i have been been fully explained dizuku's outfit sorry about that guys anyway izuku had who has not only a biker helmet meant to hide his his hair But also, so some sunglasses, this is a leather jacket, get tore up rip, tore up blue jeans. He looks like like the bike like a biker gang's reptile. That's what he looks like. Like a human reptile from the biker gang. You know what I'm saying? He looks like that. But anyway. Anyway, Bakugo Kirishima escaped a build dig, which is good. Dig, which is in the USJ, which is good because it's about to collapse right next next to Shota. In fact, it was about to land directly on Shota. But then Izuku quickly dash quickly dashed and saved her. To her. Shoulda the blushed at this. This. Izuku quickly put Shoda down to on the ground. And went back to Shigaraki. Well, dashed back to Shigaraki. Anyway. 
All Might comes, the Nomu goes after All Might. My All Might wins. Izuku just scoffs and says, Wow. Guess he's more tough than we thought. Looks like we'll have to make an extra strong no move move for next time. Oh well. Then suddenly the pro heroes come along. And then Isuku said, Kirigiri, Kirigiri, get your, get Shigaraki out of here as quick as you can. Because you can. I'll stall the heroes. And President Mike, Mike, after dealing with some D-list villains, used his, his quirk and screamed at Izuku. But Izuku used... Sorry. Felt a sneeze coming on. Izuku... Goo brought it back using his drag, his dino roar. Sending President Mike flying Ying to the wall of the USJ. Izuku quickly quickly touched touched his touched President Mike's shoulder activating ding his quirk And Midnight saw this, tried to sing her quirk on him, him, but Izuku used used his dino roar along with with the extra quirk quirk that he just copied, making his. Making his dino roar even more powerful. Cool. A portal then appeared behind Izuku. As Izuku said, <laughs> tried to think about that next time you try try to go up against the dino as Izuku makes his escape And once he got to the hideout, Shigaraki looked at him and said, The dino? And Izuku said, 
said, Well, I am a dinosaur. And besides, it's just the saying. It's not like people are actually gonna call me the dino. Once the day was over, the news broadcasted, and guess what they called Izuku? The Dino. And Shigaraki looked at him and said, Are you starting to like that name now? As Izuku said, Well, it's better than the biker gang. Pretty soon, Shota the appeared by appeared at the door. <sighs> Sorry. Whoops. And she had a question that's been been going over her mind for a while now. She went over to Izuku and asked, Hey, you... Why did you save me from that building collapsing? And Izuku replied, oh, oh, well, I, I know you could have survived it, but I needed a way, but we needed a way to, well, well, t see, to tell you, tell, tell why I would have fire and ice powers, so I, I, uh, I, I thought that, you know what, I'm just gonna go with it. I, uh, I care about you, Shota. Like, I really care about you. Shota then rushed up for to Izuku. Go put it to her hand on the back of his head. pulled him in, and kissed his lips. And Izuku kissed right back. After the kiss, Izuku, now blushing, said, I was looking for Ray, I like you too, Izuku, but that that works as well. <laughs> Which causes Shudder to giggle. And Kurgiri We said I called it. And Shigaraki said, Yeah. Guess he did. Yeah, you're right. He did. Did pull the first move. Guess I owe you five bucks. Izuku turned his head and said, You bet on us? <laughs> but unfortunately, that's where I'm gonna leave it off. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, boom, slap the like button across the face. Catch you next one, guys. Laters.